Now, what has the the economic reforms that we have talked about in all the given sectors, and like the reforms that were introduced in the industrial sector where the licenses were abolished, and which are there now only for five sectors, and all the banking reforms that were introduced in which the reserve rates have been brought down, and the external sector where all the restrictions have been removed, or the taxation sector tax reforms that have been brought where it has been made more easier. what has all the impact been on the indian economies now the companies can work in a better environment they do not hesitate in mergers or expansion because earlier if they wanted to expand or they wanted to merge with another company they had to go through a long procedure of approvals but since it is no longer required they can think of expanding and they have they do not hesitate in expanding now now many industries since the market has opened up export has been promoted and they have to compete with the global market they have directed their efforts towards that global market because of that what happens even the consumers in india get good quality products now many intent entities which were earlier labor intensive have now become capital intensive because there is more money in the market more money for investment purposes is available more stress has been given on quality and research and development because we have to compete with the global goods so we have to emphasize on the quality as well industries are also realizing the importance of large scale economies when you produce at large scale you there are many benefits that you get your cost of production comes down you can have the uh, you can draw from the labor division of labor you get division of labor you can uh, get more profit from that so many economies are realizing that importance many industries are realizing the importance of large scale economies then there is stress on brand building because you have to compete with foreign brands and all you know that you need to have a brand which is which you will only get when you will good give good quality product to people because the market has become very competitive so this is the impact that the indian economy has had because of the economic reforms that were introduced but still a long way to go there still are many hurdles we have failed to achieve the physical discipline to the targeted level because it has not been done in a very planned manner still the physical deficit is there and we need to achieve a physical discipline still there has been a failure to implement the industrial deregulation still the foreign investors face a lot of problems still they hesitate in coming to india and putting up a plant because still they feel that the market is and the policies and the government regulations are there according to world bank's uh, doing business report india stood at 134 out of 189 countries which says which shows that indian foreign investors are still not very keen in setting up their businesses in india we have not fully opened up our economy to trade there still are certain restrictions and we have to also be very cautious of the uh, we have to uh, adopt uh, protection from dumping policies because as we can see the our market is flooded with china items from china so we have to protect ourselves from that also so we still have to grow in that uh, phase ad hoc and unplanned disinvestment whatever planning has whatever disinvestment has happened has happened in a little unplanned manner it could have been in a more planned manner then the result could have been better so and it has been adopted on a ad hoc basis like full fledgedly they have not been applied slows in the financial sector the financial sector has not reformed at a faster pace the reforms have still been slow and in order to the economy to grow it is very important to emphasize on the infrastructure roads railways all these things still need a lot of emphasis so we need to finance our infrastructure as well because when only when infrastructure will be strong then the foreign investors or the foreign investment will be encouraged so these hurdles are still there that our economy faces